Great stuff. So we're going to um, solve for L for both of these. We're going to find L. So we'll do this, this one and then this one. So this is our formula. The perimeter is twice the length plus twice the width. And of course, what we're talking about is a rectangle that has a length and a width. And there's four sides. So there's like the width here, the width here. So there's two lengths plus two widths make the perimeter, and that's the distance all the way around the rectangle. So the first question is, if the width was 50 and the perimeter is 300, find the length. So we just plug these numbers in for the letters. So in place of P, we put 300. So 300 equals 2L plus 2 times the width of 50. Now, we'll write that down and let me know if you're okay with that. Yeah, I am. Makes, that part makes sense. Lovely. So 300 equals 2L plus 100, right? And so we simplify and then we solve. Unless you're flying with this, I'm sure, but might as well walk through it together. So 200 equals 2L. And what's the next step? You have to get the L by itself. Right. So just divide by two, right? Correct. So 100 equals L. So that's our answer. The length is 100. And if, we'll do a little check real quick because if you had a rectangle, the width was 50 and the length was 100, um, this is what it would look like, 50 and 100. And if you add them up, that's 200 plus 250, that's 250 plus uh, another 50, that's 300. So if you add those up, you should see our perimeter is 300, right? Correct. Cool. So the other one's the same way. We go perimeter is 2L plus 2W and just plug the numbers in. So we've got 300 equals... 2L plus 2 times 75 this time. Okay. So we got 300 equals 2L plus 150. And then we'll solve for L. So we've got to subtract 150. First of all, and then we divide by two, right? And 150 over two. Seventy-five. So we have a width of seventy-five and also a length of 75. And that is the interesting type of rectangle with all sides the same, which is also a called a square. Yeah. That square is a type of, type of rectangle. There you go. And so add them all up, 75, 75, 150, and 75, 75, 150, 150, 150, we'll find perimeter is 300. So that all makes sense, right? Good for there.